Make it a family occasion. Look, my daughter and Liam have come out for a look. Everybody's excited. She's a good mother, isn't she? He's up finally. It's been, we think he was born about five o'clock tea time. And uh, it's about quarter past nine. And he's fairly up, but she's been a bit, she's mothering him, as in licking him, but being quite boisterous. So he's always on deck. And then it's shittiest bit at your hand. But he's trying to find grub now. In fact, he just wants pointing to the back. He's, he's just trying to find his first milk. Let's see if I can point him in the right direction of it. Oh. It's took a while, but he's sucking now. Christ, I might have been shoving him round under her. She wasn't a very good mother. All she wanted to do, well, she yes and no. All she wanted to do was lick him. But now... He's found the tit and he's making some right gurgling noises, so he's getting some at And she's decided that, oh, that's what you do, is it? Someone tell me that uh, I, could have do, I could do with a, you know, an area where uh, I can hold her, not a crush. I can hold her and he can get underneath her. Um, so if I do really get a wooden heifer, a real wooden one, or what, I don't want to take it. I can hold it in a position where he has to take it sort of thing. So yeah, it's going grand now. In fact, you can hear a little bugger sucking away. Yeah, it was born about half four time, we think. And because I had a look at our finish early today. Uh, I finished work early today, about four o'clock. Went in and the uh, sort of half four, he was out. And he's been a while before getting up, really. He wasn't real, sort of, he didn't spring to life very, very uh, he was quite lethargic, but he's on an attic now. And she's just letting him know. Brilliant. Yeah, quite chuffed. I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. But it's all a learning curve, isn't it? You learn every day. Of a Christmas, I think we end up with like 
probably cold and wet. Looking back at Van. And in fact, Will, well, no, Will. Will, you stay there, stay there. Go to back at Van, don't look through the front. What? Oh, ho, ho. oh yes, finally. Oh. Just treated ourselves to a new compressor. To be honest, we've been buggering about since October, well, harvest, with shitty old compressors. I was bust, so we put a motor on it. Then the pump went, so it needs a new pump. My brother-in-law lent us his. He doesn't want to start without nearly trapping your fingers in belts to try and get it going. And uh, just been into our local engineering firm, and I says, I just said to the lad, I says, how much is that? And he surprised me, he really did. In fact, I think you'll be surprised. I think, and it's got a 10 year, he reckons a 10 year guarantee on it. It's a 200 litre, three horsepower motor, single outlet. So we'll have to do, uh, we'll have to uh, yes. put a better outlet on that. Um, 10 year guarantee, 630 pound, which I thought was very, very reasonable. Don't you? Yeah. Big enough. Is there supposed to be wheels with it? Well, that's a handle, so you'd yeah, think there'd be wheels. Top. Yeah, there is. <coughs> is the wheels at back? Yeah. No, they're not attached yet. Yeah. So, yeah, we treated ourselves. Chuck your bits, Sam. To what I've just shown you, we're a bit of a disaster, really. That one, what we uh, we had last night, everything's fine, and we just thought by the time I went to bed, I made sure she was up and uh, suckling, and uh, she was still pushing a little bit, but we couldn't check her because she wouldn't stand still. And uh, anyway, this morning, a couple of little hooves bloody poking out, so yeah, anyway, it was dead. Uh, she, well, she was dead, another little effer. It was quite a big calf and all, but there was quite a lot of scent. I don't know whether it had been dead a day or two, to be honest. Quite smelly. But anyway, uh, we've got one, and I think it's uh, a little he heifer calf, very healthy, but it's just made us make this today, and it's a little bit of an Heath Robinson affair. Well, it isn't it in. This is a permanently hung gate. They're just tied old pallets. But Ollie's made this gate here. This is like labour ward. That's maternity ward where she, they, they get moved into next and then went, cow, went calves strong enough to sort of, um, you know, look after itself, please itself. They'll go um, back in here. Um, so, yeah, somewhere where if we'd have to get vet last night, it just made me think, what do we do? 
Like, in finish, we got it altered. I got an altar on it, or Nicola got an altar on it. And we altered it to, to um, uh, Sally Drake. And then I got it, which, the calf was backwards first. And uh, I gave it a great almighty yuck and it came out, but it was dead. I think it's been dead a day to, to be honest, so. But she, I mean, lesson learned. I mean, it's all new to us, so. But yeah, we learned a good lesson last night. I should have checked it. And if it was alive, we'd have got it. And we'd have been looking after two, probably bottle feeding them, you know, to, uh, to top them up. Anyway, it is what it is. So, lesson learned. But yeah, mother and baby doing very well. Right, on time. Um, yeah, well, I just want to wish you all Merry Christmas. You know, um, if you'd asked me two years ago, you'd be a YouTuber. Christ, I might have said bollocks, you know, and I'm here now. I mean, I'm slightly committed. Don't know why I'd do it. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on, uh, on our journey. And uh, yeah. Yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And uh, yeah, I hope next year's a good one. I really do. So, but uh, yeah. So.